Hi guys, it's Baby, and we're back with more Kindred Spirits on the Road. Last time we left off, uh, Mo Megumi got a bit creepy on us, so let's see what happens next. As you might expect for the rainy season, the rain didn't let up a bit, and I had to continue eating lunch in the classroom. I finally figured out which parts of the school the kindred spirits can and can't use. Sachi-san's fine on the roof, but she can't enter the Hoshikin building. And in contrast, Megumi freely wanders the Hoshikin building, but she can't go to the inner building, where Sachi-san can. That's why I haven't been able to coordinate with them lately since the only place we can meet is on the roof. And I can't just stand outside in the rain, seeming to talk to myself. The two of them could at least get into the entrance hall, but it's not like I could sit and eat lunch there either. So even if I wanted to help with anything, there was no way to make plans in this weather. But on Friday, Yuna! Oh, Megumi, what is it? After school, I didn't have any helping to do, and I'm not in any clubs, so I'd just been chatting to with Anno a little. I was planning on going home when... It's our chance! Our big chance! What? What do you mean? I whispered the question to Megumi, who jumped onto my back, trying not to arouse Anno's suspicions. It's a big chance for Sasa-san. Or Futano-san. Futano-san. She's in love with Ichiki-san. And we think she's been waiting for a chance to confess. But the two of them are always with Mayama-san. Though she hasn't been getting many opportunities. We had been trying to figure out what to do about it. According to Megumi, lately Ichiki-san's been even more eager to keep the three of them together all the time. But now there's a big chance? This morning at the main gate, the three of them were together like usual. Yeah. And it was really windy, right? So there's this big gust and it broke Umi-san's umbrella. Yeah, and? What? You can't connect those dots? No, I can't. What the heck is she talking about? You know you are so thick. Listen, Umi-san doesn't have an umbrella to go home with today, but she still needs to stay dry. Right? Meaning, if we do sank about Nena-san, it'll just be Sasa-san and Umi-san left, right? Right? So... Hey, you still don't get it? Just hurry up and tell me already? You're completely hopeless. Listen up, Umi-san doesn't have an umbrella, and it's still raining and she'll be going home alone with Sasa-san. So, please just get to the point already. They'll have to share an umbrella. Duh. Share an umbrella? Oh, they'll both be using Futano-sans. Sasa-san can walk home with the girl she loves under the same umbrella. If she doesn't get a chance to confess, when the heck would she? Ah, I get it. I finally understand. I didn't even think of that. Hmm. This kind of annoys me, to say so, but I guess I can't blame Megumi for making fun of me. And it was all Sachi-san's plan. She's so brilliant. So it wasn't even Megumi's idea. I shouldn't have been impressed. So that's that. Can you get Sasa-san and Umi-san to go home together somehow? By doing something about Nena-san. Doing something about Mayama-san. Isn't Futano-san having all this trouble because it's not an easy thing to do? But this is a good chance. I'm not sure about the whole sharing an umbrella thing, but I do think Futano-san could work up the courage to confess. I got it. I'll see what I can do. Good. You should hurry, since I think they're already getting ready to go home. Though now that I'm thinking about it, what am I going to do? Just grab my Amazon and ask her to help me with something? In any case, the three of them are going to leave if I don't act fast. Probably together. I'm sorry, Anno. I just remembered something I have to do. Oh? What is it? What you gotta do? 
I have to ask Mayama-san. Shoot. <laughs> Naina? My head was full of tangled thoughts, so I just gave Anno an automatic answer. What should I do? Anno knows I'm not really close to Mayama-san. How can I explain this? Oh yeah, come to think of it, I have a thing with Naina too. Man, I almost forgot. Huh? You do? Can I come too? Uh, okay. Okay, let's get going then. What should I do? I'm thinking of... I'm thinking about it, but I don't have any way to store Anno if she needs Mayama-san for something. And if Anno's business might get Mayama-san to stay behind, then we just need Futano-san and Ichiki-san to head home together. From what Megumi said, they should be getting ready to leave. We peeked into their class B on the way to the entrance hall, but they were nowhere in sight. Did they go home already? What do you think? Should we go to the broadcasting room? Hmm, let's head over to the entrance hall. We might run into them. I guess so. I wanted to, to just run to the entrance hall, but that would have been suspicious. Instead, I just moved as quickly as I could get away with. All three of them will be together, so they shouldn't be hard to find. Right. Being together is the whole reason Futano-san is having all this trouble, and why I'm working so hard to separate Mayama-san from them. And then there's the fact that Ichiki is one of the one holding them together, the one Futano-san has feelings for. It must be really tough for her. Come to think of it, you asked me the other day if two of them seemed particularly close, didn't you, Yuna? Yeah? I, I did. But even I think it was a kind of pointless question. I should frame ignorance here. Sorry, Anno. Did I ask that? You did. Huh? You don't remember? No. Huh. I thought for sure you'd gotten yourself a pair of Yuri goggles. Oh my god, Anno. W what You know, you look at a pair of girls together and you imagine what it would be like if they were an element of Yuri if there was an element of Yuri in their relationship. Well, what are you talking about? Oh, but I'm not thinking dirty stuff or anything. You know, Yuri's like a more pure thing, right? It's important to keep your imagination under control. Uh-huh. Well, she's free to think whatever she wants. I hope she can rein it in a little, though. It's a little hard to criticise Anno with all the stuff I'm doing right now. What do you think, Yuna? You think Yuri's okay? Huh? What the heck is she asking me now? Well, we know what we're gonna say, right? Hmm, well, I guess so. Oh, an unexpected answer. You think it's like, not that you love girls, but that you would fall in love and it just happened to be with a girl, or something like that? I mean, I guess it's like that. I don't really know. Oh, how cool. Oh, but don't fall for Miss Anno now. I don't do IRL after all. It's not like that, but why the heck can you imagine it for other people if you can't do it IRL? Because imagining it counts as 2D, or something. Sure. As our unique conversation reached that point, Anno and I had arrived at the entrance hall. Hopefully those three hadn't gone home yet. As I scanned around the hall, I heard Anno raise her voice beside me. Oh, there they are! Naina! I followed Anno's gaze as she waved her arm and spotted the trio near the entrance observing the rain. Oh, Anno, what's up? Well, you see... Remember the video I was telling you about yesterday? I guess it got taken down. What? Really? Yeah, I guess the uploader deleted it. Ugh, I knew I should have watched it last night, but I was just so tired. Mwahaha. That's what I thought, but I was prepared. Oh? I cleverly downloaded the video. 
Oh! Well, you're impressed, right? Mm-hmm. So where's the file? On my phone. And where's your phone? I forgot it in the classroom. I am impressed, Anno. <laughs> what is with this conversation? I'm not sure if I'm getting anxious or falling asleep. Sorry, but want to come with me to get it? Or do you want to watch it in the classroom? Hmm... Miyama-san was thinking about it, though not before making a glance at Ichiki and Futano-san. Well, since you went to the trouble, I guess I've got to go with you. Oh, there we go. Maybe Futano-san and Ichiki will go home on their own now. The same thing happened with Anno last time. It's kind of impressive how things keep working out like this. Though, it's her forgetfulness that gets the credit, I suppose. Well, that's that then. Sorry, but could you two go home without me? What? Wait a second, Nana. Sorry, but it's Anno, you know? She'll probably forget it again if I miss this. Man, you're making me blush here. That wasn't a compliment, Anno. But we said we'd go shopping with Sasa, didn't we? That's why I said I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you at some point, I promise. Hmm, okay. How long will it take? We'll wait. What? They're going to stay here? Oh, come on. You don't have to do that. We can't just leave you behind, Nana. Well, I'm happy you feel that way, but Sasa won't have time to do her shopping if you wait for me, right? What? Is it going to take that long? Well, we're going to watch the video and stuff. You want to sit here and make Sasa miss out on her shopping? Huh? Hmm... I'm sorry, okay? I'll make up for it next time. Oh, I guess we have no choice. But we're definitely all going to go together next time, okay? Yeah, yeah, sorry. It kinda... Went like this last time too, didn't it? Anno held Mayama-san back and Futana-san and Ichiki-san ended up alone. And I didn't do anything this time either. Anno and Mayama-san are doing all the work here. Sorry I couldn't help with you guys, Sasa. Hmm? Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Hmm, well, have fun with Umi then. Uh, yeah. Miyama-san then said something to Futano-san. I didn't quite catch. Well, see you. Uh-huh, see ya. Go back home when you're done, okay, Nana? You can't sleep at school. Yeah, yeah, I know. Miyama-san waved the two of them to the two of them as they left the entrance hall. Futano-san unfurled a black umbrella at the exit and held it up to cover Ichiki-san and the two of them walked off towards the main gate together. Phew, it worked out. Somehow. In the same moment as my hushed sigh of relief, Sheesh, they finally left. I heard my son's voice. It was a tiny murmur, so quiet that Anno, a few paces in front of us, probably couldn't hear it. They're finally alone together. Hopefully Sasa san can make her move this time. Oh, Nana, you're the best. Huh? What was that? Miyama-san's trying to get Frutano-san and Ichiki-san alone together too? But that means... Those two are so trouble. So much trouble. Don't you think, Tumi-san? What? Huh? You hadn't noticed about Sasa, Tumi-san. Huh? Um... <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> uh, obviously, we had an idea. Well, yeah, I guess I had an idea. Oh, I thought so. It was so obvious, even you noticed it, and we're not that close. Why doesn't Umi notice? Um, I, uh... Oh, it's fine, don't worry about it. I just asked because I had a feeling. Well, I just helped her out a bit, because she was being kind of irritating. It's a good opportunity when Anno came up like that. Uh-huh. So Miyama-san had noticed. That's why she stayed behind with Anno. Well, I don't know if Umi-san likes Sasa like that or not. 
Really? I just thought it'd be better for Sasa to come out and say it either way. I don't think Umi would really think any less of her. You know, Umi's friendship thing is kind of like an illness at this point. It's been even worse lately. It's been kind of stressing me out, too. I feel bad for Sasa. Well, I just thought I'd meddle a little. I don't think Umi would stop being friends with Sasa, even if it didn't work out. I see. I'm seeing my son in a bit of an... no, in quite a different light now. Since she looks so sleepy all the time, I hadn't really considered her the type who pays too much attention to the things around her. But she's pretty sharp, huh? And she's trying to help her friends out. Huh? What are you two whispering about back there? Miyamasan and I had been keeping our voices down, so it seemed Anno hadn't heard what we were saying. What's this now? When did you two get so close? Is this a new pairing? Is Yuna Nana a thing now? What are you saying? Cut it out. I'm gonna root for Anno Yuna if you're gonna do it. <laughs> if you're gonna be that way. Yeah, give me a break. Oh, she's blushing. Oh, can Anno and Nana get together? That'd be perfect. With that conversation, the three of us headed back towards the classroom. Futano-san and Ichiki-san were left alone under the umbrella today. I wonder what they talked about. Oh yeah. Oh, and next we're gonna play as Sachi-san. That's gonna be so much fun. But that's all the time I have for now. I'm sorry if it seems a bit short today, but I really don't have a lot of time to record this because my software's been a bit ugh, annoying. So I'll see you guys later, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye bye!